Welcome to my channel. Today we have the Babola Pure Aero, well the last gen, I think it's the first Pure Aero. This is the lime green paint job. This is the first one that came out from Babola. And here we have the latest Pure Aero 2019. I think they call it 2019 for some reason even though it's, well we're almost 2019 but Feel free to correct me if it was called 2018. It would make sense to call it 2018, but maybe the Bubbleos marketing team decided that 2019 would be a long-term name. Just like the way they got Rafael Nadal's 10th year edition two months before he won the 11th French Open. Anyways, <laughs> so at a first glance, they look pretty similar to be frank with you. Like, um, I checked the specs on tennis warehouse and this is the new one the sole difference is actually the stiffness apart from that the head size is the same length is the same the strong weight is actually different this is by the way the old one the lime green and you see the stiffness is 69 whereas the new one has a stiffness rating of 67 the swing weights are almost identical as well and i think the way uh Tennis Warehouse measures it is that they first string them and then they do the measuring. So these are negligible differences except from the stiffness number. That could actually alter the feel of the racket a little bit. Um, Puderow has been my go-to racket for at least, I think it's been a year by now. So I really like this racket. I've been using it on court. I've been doing some doubles and singles with it. And I'm a recreational player, so please, if you are a pro player or wanna be pro, listen to your coach. The best tennis advice comes from tennis professionals. This is a review by a tennis enthusiast. I think I'm about, my level is in the US standards 4.0, maybe 3.9. Um, I do enjoy the game. I do singles and doubles. So this is going to be my review. I did not hit with this racket yet. It just came in. So I just wanted to make a video to share the differences. Again, the feeling difference is pretty similar. Like there's there's actually no difference in the feeling. They, they, they feel rather similar. And in terms of cosmetic, I mean, I like the uh, lime green myself. This yellow, of course, this is the traditional like early on, maybe the even the first Aero Pro Drives color. So this is a little nostalgic when it comes to the color choice. But then there is rather aggressive graffiti type uh, paint job on it. I think this is Aero. So this is pure Aero. We have the Bubbola logo here. We have the Bubbola name here. Just like in the old one, actually. Bubbola brand name is on this side. Yeah on this side and we have the pure arrow written a little bit more legibly than this here it says pure a e r and the o is almost lost and here we have actually the legible way saying pure arrow um i noticed a couple of things when i was looking at it before i turned on the camera i don't know if this camera can catch it but it says carbon carbon play stabilizer here so if they made a difference in the material choices of course that will be reflected in the feel of the racket as well
this one i mean it had some negative reviews positive reviews in my case it was a rather okay improvement over um aero pro dry 2013 so i i enjoyed this racket i still enjoy it but um it lacks the control and sometimes it feels okay it's definitely softer than the air pro drive 2013 on your hand on your arm mostly or your wrist but it is still stiff this i warmly welcome on paper this 26 stiffness rating sorry not 26 that would be a bit too much 67 stiffness rating um and i don't know if this camera can catch it but now there is this structure with all sorts of pimples <laughs> so maybe they're going through some beauty issue here look like there are some bubbly structure here and here there is another novelty it says no, i can't yeah here it says spin grommets i don't know if there's an extra grommet here it feels like a spin it just feels like a paint job to be frank with you such thing doesn't exist here obviously there's no mentioning of spin grommets but the string pattern is the same 16 by 19 so apart from that the specs on the uh what is it specs on the racket is actually similar unstrung balance 320 millimeters head size 100 square inch and then unstrung weight 300 and this is definitely won't be caught on camera but we can try come on gopro you can do it weight is 300 grams balance 320 and head size is 100 and 16 by 19 obviously of course the for optimal performance use excel or rpm blast recommendation is now changed to where was it yeah here it says recommended strings are rpm blast or rpm blast rough i like rpm blast i tried rpm blast rough i understand that it is maybe an easier string but definitely not my choice so guys um this is a very quick review of well it's not even a review it's actually more of an unboxing type of video but i'll go out and hit with this one and you will get the feedback from a pure Aero user for a year and if you would like to be part of my youtube channel please go ahead and click on the subscribe button then it really helps me to have more influence over the internet and i can deliver videos like this um, when it comes to tennis rackets there are so many sellers doing the videos but i don't see many enthusiasts doing videos there's tennis nerd he's doing a lot better job than i do but i am an enthusiast and youtube is a platform where it is allowed to say things or you know express your experiences with brands that's why i think i will keep doing videos but if you subscribe like or even share this video it will be great um physical differences is that even though it looks slimmer i did not measure it but i checked again the tennis warehouse stats apparently it is actually the same thickness but i'm telling you this one feels a little slimmer maybe it's the paint job pattern which is not that different actually from the other one i'm not sure what happened here but at least now that okay the camera shows a bit of a thickness extra thickness on this one because this is a gopro but there is none basically and everything else is the same here there's this minimalist logo i like the placement of the logo here i mean bubola is a well-known brand even though uh they had some known quality issues uh in the past so do not forget to subscribe for this full review thank you very much for watching i will be working on these gladly so that i can bring my thoughts all right thank you